Yo, what is up, guys? So for today, I'm bringing you the Ritual Weapon for Vanguard Buzzard. Now, we're going to be talking about this gun because obviously this one's the easiest one to get. I got this within, like, not even four hours. It was pretty it's pretty chill. So before we start talking about the gun and everything, Tony, how do you get the gun? Great question. Let me tell you. So first, you're going to want to go to Zavala and pick up the Anything That Moves quest. And from this quest, you're going to have to get... 1,500 sidearm kills, 50 airborne final blows with a sidearm, and then 4,500 score points, whatever that means. So what I ended up doing was I ended up going to the Corrupted Strike. Within the Strike playlist, I just waited until I got it. And then once I got it, immediately went to Blindwell and then just did that until I got the kills because ultimately the kills is what probably what's going to take you the most. The points, honestly, this is where I'm just kind of like, I don't know. I just did a bunch of strikes. So, yeah, I just did a bunch of strikes. Like, I don't even remember how many, but I just kind of turned my brain off and just watch Glad and some other dude kill, like, all the raids to Manning. That's what I did. And I was just like, oh, shit, how, how many more do I need? Oh, I need, like, 10 more points? Okay, cool. So, that's what I ended up doing. Just turn your brain off and just do, do strikes within the strike playlist. I... I can't stress that enough. So once you do all that, go to Zavala and that's it. This is really a simple quest. This is probably the most simplest quest I've seen in a while. But after after all that, Tony, I did all that. Tell me how the gun is. Okay. So in my opinion, this gun is very okay. It's nothing to write home about. It's okay. It actually, my opinion was it of it was even higher until I got a certain gun, but we'll get to that in a bit. Let's look at the perks. So, the weapon is an adaptive frame, well-rounded grip, reliable and sturdy. It has extended barrel for the increase in range, alloy magazine for faster reloads when the magazine is empty, and the first traits we are looking at is outlaw and four, fourth times the charm. Now this is where I kind of have issues because in my personal opinion, outlaw on a sidearm feels kind of dumb and fourth times the charm is just, it's so rare for you to proc that is that you actually have to like try to actually get it. Unless you have like swashbuckler on, you're not gonna kill any everything with one hit with this. So essentially fourth times the charm for me is a useless perk. The second slots are actually where I kind of Loved it and then kind of like nose dived into like this uh, whatever. So essentially, when I saw this gun, I didn't know Osmosis was part of the pool within all the weapons or most weapons. I thought this was just singular to this weapon alone. So that for me was like, oh shit, this is only on this. This is cool. So with that being said, Osmosis using your grenade ability changes this weapon's damage type to match your subclass until you stow it. This opens a lot of possibilities for you to actually use the rainbow as a loadout. And I mean, what I mean by that is you can actually use, like, let, for an example, arc for your primary, solar for your secondary, and void for your heavy. We have not seen that since Destiny 1 vanilla. I got really excited because I was like, it doesn't matter if it's a sidearm. The fact that it can, I can do, like, shield damage with it is amazing. So this is where the part of the video where I'm like, but because like I said, I did not know that osmosis was part of the, the pool within the guns that you can get. So once I started farming for this, I ended up getting a gun from the new season called the Steel Feather Repeater, which is an auto rifle. I ended up getting slideways with osmosis on it. Immediately, this gun was just like, all right, cool. So Buzzard's just like a sidearm. That's it. There's nothing unique about it. Like, the perks, aside from Osmosis, and maybe, maybe Swashbuckler interests me, but Outlaw on a sidearm, like I said, just does not interest me at all. Fourth times the charm is garbage in a sidearm, and Os Osmosis, as cool as it is, on a sidearm, I don't know, dog. If they really wanted to wow me, they should have put Swashbuckler right next to Osmosis. That would have been good, because then, I would be actually doing like big boy damage instead of like, I don't, I don't know. It all depends if the buzzard, when it's, when it's an elemental version, if it's damage actually does more than it's energy slot counterpart, because then it would be like, all right, that's cool, I guess. But even still, 
I'd rather just use an like an, an assault rifle, like an AR. Like, why would you not use an AR over a sidearm when it has osmosis as well? So that's where I, like I'm coming from. Like initially, I loved it, and then I'm like, ah, whatever's. But not looking at that aspect, how is the gun? So I've used this gun in PVE and PVP. We're gonna talk about PVE first. PVE, it's fine. I think one of the things that immediately got my got me interested in this weapon was. Oh my god, I can use this for my warlock. I can use I can use like my void subclass, top tree. That's the, the one I usually like to do. And then I like my mind went like just soaring. I was like, I could use this throw grenade and have me like void kills. And with the helmet that the warlocks have the Nezerak Sin, I can keep procking my void to get more energy. I like it just it was so wild to me how like immediately once I saw, oh shit, this can proc energy immediately i was like nezrak sin all void everything i could destroy i could have grenades my melee my super i can have everything so much faster i dude like it was so wild to me that i was just thinking about all these possibilities but then like immediately after i got that ar i was like oh, i could just use this instead because ultimately i really do like this ar the steel feather repeater is really good in my opinion so that's where the value of buzzard really fell for me but in pvp i'm gonna i'm not gonna lie to you guys i could care less about it i was using it a bit here and there and i'm not even gonna lie to you guys i got like maybe three kills with it in the span of like four matches and i i was playing a few different ways on one hand i was playing like just trying to get buzzard kills using nothing else obviously i failed that's not how you're supposed to use a sidearm so then i tried to use it just like as a sidearm like initially like oh i need to use this just to like kill this guy real quick didn't work either i feel like the hit registration is amazing it could be better but i mean overall it's better than how it was before but i feel like buzzer just doesn't do enough damage for me to warrant like the initial like oh shit this is good either that or give every sidearm quick draw because the fact that i have to wait that long for a sidearm when a sidearm is literally like your your plan b like your i don't have anything else in my main like weapon so i'm gonna use this i feel like sidearms need like quick draw on all of them because other than that i don't even care i really don't <laughs> this weapon i'm not gonna use it in pvp maybe in pve but overall i'm not gonna say i'm disappointed because i love the weapon i love how it looks first and foremost let's get that out of the way it looks fucking beautiful uh the perks could be more I, I feel like swashbuckler with osmosis would have been amazing and overall i probably would never use this in pvp in pve probably i'm probably gonna stow this in my vault my warlock actually might have one though because of nezrax sin like there's some really cool synergies that can really go with this but like i said my ar has osmosis so now i'm just kind of like oh whatever's but ultimately for me, it's just more gimmicky than anything else. It's like, it's a sidearm with osmosis, whatever, whatever. So that's pretty much it guys. Let me know what you guys think about Buzzard. I unfortunately am not the biggest fan of it. I love how it looks and everything, but from like a gameplay standpoint, I don't see the point. I really don't, especially when there's other sidearms that do such, such a better job than this. So let me know what you guys think. Are you guys gonna be farming for this? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys wanna follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. And other than that, I will see you guys later.